Welcome back to the channel. I am Monkey0352, and today we'll be talking about Operation Thunder. This is the third operation in the Monkey's Sierra and Conflict campaign, which puts the players in the boots of a forward-deployed Cascadian Marine Special Operations team. While I promised a video dedicated to the lore of the campaign, and it is coming, I'll give a little background here first, though. The Federated States of Cascadia is one of the two superpowers on the continent. After Rakutania invaded the Republic of Gorland, the Federated States immediately began supporting the Gorland's defense forces in their efforts to repel the invader, but initially did not join in the war itself, instead opting to pursue a diplomatic end to the war as it was uh, a limited one. It was only until Rakutania's ally, the Confederated States of Ardun Territories, or CSAT, launched their own war of aggression against another Cascadian ally, the Republic of Altian Islands, did the Federated States declare war on the two eastern powers. Operation Thunder is a daring amphibious landing behind Rakutanian lines in northern Gorland. In order to begin this operation, first the GDFN Northern Fleet and the Carrier Strike Group Constant will need to beat back the Rakutanian fleet in the Nordian Sea to allow for such a landing. Then they'll begin the arduous task of landing its first marine battalion on the rocky shores of northern Gorland. Carrier Strike Group Constant is a large fleet of warships surrounding a Richardson-class aircraft carrier. Attached to this Carrier Strike Group are the ships of the 1st MEF or Marine Expeditionary Force. 1st MEF currently only has the 36th MU or Marine Expeditionary Unit in theater as it was the only one on patrol at the beginning of hostilities. Two more MUs are finishing their embarkation of troops in Cascadia while the rest of the Cascadian Marine Corps awaits orders to mobilize. The 36 Mu consists of a battalion of Marines supported by armor, light recon, and artillery. While Carrier Strike Group Constant and its Gorlish allies put the Rakutanian Nord Sea Fleet at the bottom of the ocean, 1st MEF's commander authorized the forward deployment of its available MSOTs, or Marine Special Operations teams. MSOT 143, our players, moved south in civilian transports after landing in the Vita Valley, a vital logistics route for road, rail, and air transport. On the night of September 12th, 2026, MSOT 143 was given the go-ahead to conduct a Helo-borne raid on a Rakutanian-occupied GDF airbase to destroy fixed-wing strategic lift assets that Cascadian ISR had detected. This would prevent the quick reinforcement of the Vita Valley by air once the Rakutanians had detected the 36 Mu's landing north of Vita. With that, MSOT 143, call sign Dagger, boarded the CH-53, which was refueled on a FARP set up by the MSOT support team, and they set off to destroy their objective. Okay, we're on the deck. Jack, those dudes are in fighting holes on, the, on my lays. I'm not okay. <laughs> Ty, grab um, rockets from my pack and you and I will go deal with the Northern Shilka. Stay low, stay low. Pack with yeah, zero. Yeah, I'm not my rifle. Backwest here, all clear. Rocket, rocket, rocket. On with. Trigger set on the bounce. Check on where the CSU's my uh, backwest clear. Backwest clear. Your medical system rocket, is rocket, eight. Rocket.
MSOT-143's successful raid proved to First MEF's commander that these small special forces teams were a force multiplier in a conventional war. Immediately, he modified the battalion's landing plan to have one of the companies, Easy Company 2-4, airlifted further inland to the Vita Valley to clear it of the remaining Rakutanian forces and paved the way for troops landing on the northern shore. MSOT-143 was tasked with clearing the helicopter landing zones for Easy Company at a GDF railway head just west of the FARP they had built for the previous night's raid. Despite its occupation by a garrison of reserve Rakutanian infantry, the location was deemed necessary as it was surrounded by hills that would provide the CH-53s airlifting the Marines with terrain masking to protect them from Rakutanian anti-air. Additionally, another target was added to the list. Near the railway head lay a GDF command and control bunker, which had been recently breached. 143 was tasked with clearing it before moving on to clear the helicopter landing zones. Dagger mounted up in their civilian transports and moved out. Dash the lines where we'd either be on foot or off roading once we pass the SF. By the way, if you hear me scream, there's mines, you know, if that's a concern. Confirm to EK on the checkpoint. Ooh, they're sleeping them up. All dismount. Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me. Checkpoint building's clear. I'm gonna throw a hunt IR in the air. User left your channel. There's a town. Nick, that town to our direct west, I'm looking at it right now. I don't see anybody in the buildings. I don't see anyone on the roads. Yeah, I see it. No one on the satellite dishes either. Eyes on the bunker. Yeah, what kind of UAV do you have? Recon. Right. Eyes on the yeah, bunker. Now the door is open. Drone once we get to Scarlet for our movement into Blood. All right. Eyes on bunker. Door open. There's tools on the floor outside. Um, no guards outside the bunker. Solved element stage behind me in a line. Like I said, it's going to be pretty linear, so uh, I'm in front. Make sure Jaeger's in the rear. I'm not too picky about the order after that. I'm kind of gapping that wire. One door open right. One door open far left. Stack. I'm prepping a frag. Frag out. Contact. Times two down. I got this door. So I'm Copy. Open. We took it. There's another open door. We took it. What? What? They've got a ladder on the side of them. Barry, I'm passing you. Yep. Door far. Shit. Dang it out. Die, hold fire. Uh, Alex and Barry push forward. Push it. Pushing.
Reloading. Push past me, push past me. Team one, status. We pushed through, no casualties. Stand by, there's a command center we're making entry on. Dagger six, this is strife two one. Go for Sorry, strife one two. Uh, we've got a CSAT officer in here. Uh, KA. All right, Barry, stop. Uh, Alex, throw a nade. God damn it, now they pop us back. Fuck. Okay, you're up, go. Unless you need medical. <laughs> oh, I'm awake. Compound has been cleared. Recon team, move down to secure the vans. We'll be exiting soon. I'm a biscuit eater, apparently. <laughs> a biscuit eater. A fucking biscuit eater. I'm not 100% sure why we're not moving on foot. That's all. Is that a serious right in front of us? Like we need this map? And you're the juicy jump. Point out a couple more things so I can make a decision which way we're going. He's just taking a little bit longer than I expected. Yeah. That's our respawn. Contact on the hill. West. Close. so close to the fucking marked patrol, but I'm not gonna complain now. Yeah. Not. Go back to the van. Everybody but me and not follow blue line with the arrows moving to that waypoint. How close are they? Prep nade. Just toss it. Frag out. Oh! Jesus. Oh. Alright, that. Stand by. Once that goes off, you going over. Follow me. Oh, he got back up. Alex and I are at the first two foxholes. Oh, he's alive. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. <laughs> hit. Hit up alive. Right, right, right. Die, you motherfucker. Why do you keep getting back up? Ah, oh, shit. Alex is down at the first foxhole. Like a friendly hit, you all good? You good? Nah, do you have visual this? Hey, fire up. Hey, there's another fox on that. We're gonna kill. There's a dude in it. 
Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, some quick context here as to why we're being slaughtered on this hilltop. After Dagger cleared Objective Scarlet, they were to proceed to Objective Blood, then Objective Red in that order. This was so that 1. Dagger could use plunging fires to render the enemy's entrenchment ineffective, and 2. Isolate each objective so one could not support the other. Unfortunately, the patrol leader got a rush of blood to the magazine and took us right up the middle. Now we find ourselves on this hilltop being engaged from both objectives. These sort of things happen. It's up to you as the mission maker to make objectives clear and to restate important scheme of maneuver points during your brief to negate this sort of thing. Fortunately, winning all the time is boring and getting our asses kicked every now and again is kind of fun. All right, back to the op. I have a javelin round left. Hey, Baz, you, you have our, our build mod, yeah? I did see that. Build mod, yeah? There we go. All right, everybody. Let's go. Five. You, you One up at the checkpoint. Jack, I'm moving to assist you. He's down. Jack, oh, building. Eyes on. Checkpoint. By the hel helipad. In between here and the helipad. <laughs> 300 meters. Stand by. Five, five, 300 meters. I've since given him a anymore. couple of rounds to the crane. Uh, I can't go back. Yeah, they get back up if you don't splatter them. Humans are actually notably pretty hard to ice. But I have 36 to attack a gold And? Jack. Jack had issues. Jack. Jack, where'd you go? I went down the hill as ordered with Nick. Checkpoint or factory? Checkpoint. Check work. Let's all pick up and head down the hill towards uh, red. Assault, I just popped the green smoke to green smoke. I don't know fucking ammo, dude. Oh, there he goes. Got him. Move to the first set of buildings. We're clearing them out now. Hey, Semper team. Bottom right of the two story building on the first floor dining room. There's a dude with an RPG. Got him. Do you have a grenade? No, never mind, he's dead. Hold on, hold, hold on. Hold. He's dead. Oh. Alright, thank you. Right. He's wounded. Now Jeez. he's dead. There's another one in there, I can't get behind a wall. Times two, MKA in this building. I see him. Alright, I need this fucking Good ammo. You need ammo? Uh, I'm picking up Rakutanian guns, fuck it. Yeah. I'm pulling a berry. That sounds good. You have a fire in that middle building, be advised. Right. Barry and I are pushing past the next building. Do you have grenades? Uh, I do not. Opening. I just open it. He's down, he's down. <laughs> I'm because moving the to the main building. With you. Roger. There you are. First room clear. Go for it. We're gonna Second finish these last buildings and then uh, we'll be moving in. I don't have a fucking map with this. Oh god damn it. Okay. Nah, you're good. We, we know now it's we're clear. Bringing body armor. 
That, yeah, correct. Well, you were covered in blood. Come back right. I can't see him. Alright, Barry. There's probably gonna be dudes in this building. Moving. Oh, he hurt. On it. I'm dead, dude. I'm right here. <laughs> he was not dead. <laughs> Objective he was red is yeah, secure. Girl, right Everybody yeah, converge on red. With easy company on the deck in Vita. They began setting up a hasty combat outpost and battle positions around the helicopter landing zones, sure that the Rakutanians would amass some form of counterattack to prevent their incursion. Instead, the best the Rakutanians could do to disrupt the landings was move a mortar team within range of the cop. That night, 143 sent out a small team to destroy the Rakutanian IDF assets. Set facing west. Crossing. Not go. Crossing. Set. Crossing. Last man. Pick up and move. Alright, circle up on me. Alright, very simply. Uh, non Alex, you hold here in whatever cover you deem good, but stay in this general vicinity. I'm gonna take Nick, and we're gonna head over this hill and get eyes on the enemy position. Um, we're gonna be gone about five minutes. Um, if you don't hear from us, wait another five minutes. If you don't hear from us and hear things like gunfire and gunshots, uh, come help us, please. Okay. Um, if we do get into contact, uh, I'll radio. We good? Yep. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Where the lights at? The floodlights. There's a oh. fire team moving around at it. There's a handful scattered, still defensive, facing north. Yeah, I see dudes in the terrain bunker. is covering the southern end, on the south side of the base. Copy. You want to bring those two up and we'll... Well, alright, before we do that, I'm just going to look at the map here. I'm going to drop rounds on the southern TRP, and then drop smoke on AB 023001. Um, should we move a bit more south and try to get that high ground before going in? Probably right. Uh, if we plan on establishing a support by fire, but if it's just four of us, we should stay in the low so that we can get to the compound without getting shot at. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, we could put Knot up there with the sniper rifle and have him cover, but would it be better to have... Work. Hmm? Yeah, that would work. Alright. I'll call him up. Not Alex, move up to our position. Just keep following that blue line, you'll see us. We're prone though. You keep, right, awesome. you, keep a, you keep a lookout, I'll guide them in. Hey. Alright. Hey. Check it out. Um So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in the low ground and you'll see it when you crest over this hill. You can crawl up in a second after I'm done giving this quick brief. But we're going to keep in the low ground so we don't get shot at because there's nothing really looking at us um, while we beat feet. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drop HE on AB022001 and then I'm going to drop smoke on AB023001. Um, once the smoke fills up, that's when we'll move. Um, but like I said, we'll keep, instead of going up high, we'll keep to the low ground so we don't get shot. But um, not if you want to move up this hill uh, without skylining yourself to the enemy. So close. 50 meters. Get online, get online. Right. 
shot out. I'm gonna bounce to that next cover, Nick. Cover me. Set. Moving. Set. Alex, move. Bunker. He smokes up. I'm gonna run down the hill to that defilade. Uh, Nick, pick up your rate of fire. Set. Moving. <laughs> Stack on me. Stack on you. I thought you were telling me to move up, god damn it. Yeah. Guy in the right's down. Moving into the bomb. Oh, fuck. Shit, Backing Come up. one coming out, one coming out. Fuck, I'm hit. Nick just went down, I think. Roger. Bitch ate a grenade. He's to the right. There's two. Both yeah. corners. I got this guy right here. No, both corners. Fuck! Yep. Are both these bunkers clear? Oh shit. Inbound. They're shooting at you on the hill, I think. User left the camera. Well, we're almost set over here. User joined the camera. In the bunker. Monkey, I'm with you. Raj. I prep a frag. Yeah. I got one going in. Okay. Get another one ready. Pop Holy another. Right. We're tossing another nade.
These fuckers, man. No, you're doing it wrong. You gotta fucking. You gotta hit him in. You gotta hit him in the face. No, you gotta hit him in the face. All right, collapse back in on the uh, the cop. We're gonna start mining it now. Cop, Oscar Mark. Uh, prioritize mines on the mortar systems. Whoever has mines. I got demo. Yeah, demo the uh, the mortars, and then let's start mining some of these bunkers. Yeah, touch them off now. Fire hole. After 143 neutralized a mortar threat and the rest of Easy Company landed at the cop, the clearing operation in the Vita Valley began. The grunts pushed out from their cop on foot, hunting down the remnants of the Rakutanian forces in the valley, while MSOT 143 remained on standby near CH-53 to provide assistance to any platoon that needed help. Instead, a priority mission from the MAFS Intelligence Battalion came through the radio, and MSOT 143 stood too. Colonel Lamar, a CSAT logistics officer praised for his academic works in the Ardun War College, had been spotted in the Vita Valley. The colonel had been moving around the Rakutanian rear area in an advisor role, assisting the Rakutanians who had been struggling to keep logistics up with their advancing forces. MSOT 143 was tasked with raiding a Rakutanian combat service and supply point where Colonel Amar appeared to be staying. May and Max are entering 13. Copy. Second floor clear. Me and Nada are going to clear to one. Yeah, yeah. People gonna be exiting out of the south along the fence line. Yeah. Hold up. Max does that and me, we're gonna cross this fence and into the trench. Someone out there. This guy. Copy visual. Uh, one way. Fuck, Jaeger's down. They're friendly to the northwest of the trench system. Dagger element, dagger one, oh, HVT oh, secure, oh, okay. uh, preparing to move. Audio contact vehicles. David, HVT secure, building target one. Saw a copy. Dagger two is a dagger six for status. Nick, take dagger one and HBT lift and move back to the assault position. Dagger six and dagger two will stay in suppress. This motherfucker. Jack's driving the vehicle. And that's it for Operation Thunder. The 36 Mu was successful in driving a wedge in the Rakutanian rear area, utilizing local air superiority and naval batteries to fend off Rakutanian counterattacks and prepare for the arrival of follow-on Cascadian Marine and GDF forces. A big shout out to my group, the 31DT, for playing all my missions, and another huge shout out to Dozer over at the Coalition of Community Kindness for joining us as a guest for the last op. 
If you're interested in playing with us, there will be a link to the Coalition of Community Kindness Discord below, where you can check us and a bunch of other armor groups out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm still getting the hang of this video editing stuff, so apologies if some of the edits are rough. It'll get better the more videos I edit, I'm sure. Next time, the players will be in the shoes, or should I say tanks, of the Altian Republic's armored forces as they attempt to turn the Ardon forces back and retake islands seized by their foe. See you then. Be careful. See it. Barry to the right is possible. Got him. Got him. Please belts, everyone. I must say, you have a mighty handsome battle club in there, Alex. Thank you! I like the way it covers lovely. all of the right places. Yes. Yeah. I like the way it farts. I like, I like your club. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your humor like nothing but fart cum and fart noise? Yep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>